Alexander Pollock, you know, I understand that there have been better than 300 books written by the parents of those who've lost kids in shootings. Um, I, I got to tell you, though, Andrews was gripping, and I urge you to read it, but not without a box of tissues. It will set you back when you realize all the opportunities that are out there uh, to pursue Nicholas Cruz. There is a technology for this, though. Andrew Pollock's mission is to use this technology uh, to try to prevent the kind of thing that killed his beautiful daughter. The principles behind that technology are with us right now. The company's CEO, Lee Mandel, and a guy uh, you might recognize as uh, Vito from the hit TV show, The Sopranos, uh, Joseph Ganescarli. Um, I shook Joseph's hand. You almost broke it. So I will not argue with anything that he says. Um, I, I, I don't know. Lady, you might be another story. No, seriously, uh, gentlemen, w welcome to both of you. You took a vested interest in this because you have a child in elementary school. You saw what happened here. You didn't want that to happen, right? Right. I was talking to uh, my neighbor who happened to be Lee's aunt. Right. And one of the incidents happened. My daughter Viviana was six at the time. And, uh, you know, I was freaking out. And she said, you know, my uh, nephew Lee is doing some great work. Maybe you should go see him. So I went to go see him at Intralogic Solutions and was so impressed with what he was doing. I said, you know, I know a lot of people. I've met a lot of people. I'd like to help. Uh, not only in schools, I just took him to the great people at uh, Lowe's Home Improvement in North Carolina. And um, I continue to meet people and introduce, and they're always so impressed. After Lee does the presentation, it's, it's just remarkable how they want to um, expand and, and go forward. And, and yeah, well, I didn't understand the technology, so let me a little more about your comment. But I was wondering, it does provide cameras everywhere and a way for police on hand to see images that maybe in what happened in the case of Parkland, they could have pounced on a lot sooner. Explain to me how it works. Well, we realized after Parkland, a seconds matter, and like Andy says, seconds truly save lives. A few seconds, um, some of these people could have been alive. So what we want to do is get the first responders the information they need as quick as possible. So our one button lockdown, we hit that button in the school, it immediately activates the cameras for law enforcement to see. They can control so the, cameras the cameras. cameras are activated already. If this opens them up to law enforcement. Ha and it locks all the doors, so the police are doing that. Yep, the police, it'll actually lock all the doors within the school, the exterior doors, let everyone know via an audible announcement that we're in a lockdown. So again, getting everyone in the classrooms quick. But now law enforcement can track the shooter electronically, automatically, release doors, speak over the PA, so it really gives immediate response time. Well, what about time. catching the shooter before he starts shooting? Now, Nicholas Cruz, the weird thing, and he realized it in Pollock's book, they knew about him. They knew he was yep. a problem dating back to middle school. A lot of kids later on, when told it was Cruz, or they were not all surprised. Now, if that picture were available as he was getting into the school, uh, that 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 could have gotten authorities a heads up, right? Exactly. Using facial recognition technology, if he's on a suspension list or an expulsion list, we're immediately able to alert before he even enters. Did he have any enters. disguise when he entered there? Facial disguise? Nothing that would have eliminated us from being able to see that before he entered the property. When he got out of that Uber, if we were able to capture that just from a perimeter camera, we'd be able to literally see in real time before he even enters the campus. But who would be watching it? Most people are not watching people going into a school. So the concept is the alerting. So what we do is we set up the software to send alerts to security personnel, principals, staff members, as well as any guard personnel within the school. So, Joe, you're looking at that, and uh, there are already a lot of privacy advocates who say, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, you're going one step too far, you say? I say if it's going to save lives, um, let's, uh, you know, fix it or, you know, whatever has to be done because uh, if that would have happened and you would have been alerted, I mean, it's happened who knows? I don't want to speculate, but... No, I know what you're saying. You know. Um, Do you think schools should have... You know, they, a lot of them make it very tough for someone to get yeah. in, even parents who come in. The doors are locked. You have to be buzzed in. We've learned, certainly, in, in some of these cases, not in the, in, the, in the Cruz case, where they just come in guns a-blazing and they break in and then, you know, nothing's going to prevent them from doing what they're doing. Could your technology handle that? 100 percent. We call it four points. We start with infrastructure hardening, securing the perimeter, to hope they never get in. Obviously, information sharing, see something, say something, report something, social media. But God forbid they do get in. That's when we handle the integrated response. That seconds matter, seconds save lives, it's speed it up. a lot of money. And a lot of schools don't have that money, right? Well, the grants is really what it's all about. And Andy Pollock's creating a national grant program in right. partnership with us to give millions of dollars to school districts around the nation. We're going to start applications.
with Andrew Pollack beginning of next month, actually. The bottom line, you have to know the strange characters who are trying to get into a school, right? So who would be doing that watching? So I think the key is knowing who was expelled, who's suspended. Typically, what we find is the people who are coming to these buildings are known. They're known potential threats. So having that database and knowing who the potential threat is really makes it much easier to be able to control the situation. So for your child, let's say uh, they're concerned about another kid in the class who's just weirding them out. And we always hear these cases. But there was one in the Miami-Dade public school system who was a student who had terrifying drawings. Turns out he was just a kid who liked to draw terrifying stuff. He was transferred out of the school. He didn't mean to do it, but now he's been ostracized and he's out. It's, it's, the, the, it's the world we live in now, uh, Neil. And, uh, you know, you could kid, you can't really kid something on, uh, say something on Facebook uh, right. and you get a little sent off an alert. It is, it is and, and kids um, should be educated about that. You know, it's, it's just a different world and um, it's not like it was. So be careful what you say and what you do because uh, you're going to have a problem. Do either of you have any thoughts on this push? You know, 145 CEOs who've been pushing Congress to get guns under control, do something about them. Do you think that's part of the mix? I talked to Andrew Pollack about it. He said it's essentially ass backwards. That's not the issue as much as this is. I think we focus on the issue at hand and the information sharing, tar you know, hardening that target. And this kid got his guns, Nicholas Cruz, legally. Yeah. He went through the system. There's a lot of other things we have to work on as well, you know, when it comes to technology, when it comes to really training. A lot of these schools aren't properly trained on what to do during an active shooter. So that's our focus, it's really what we can do with the holistic approach to really train and use technology to make sure this doesn't happen again. Have you talked to your kids down the road? Hey, be prepared. This is what you do. You know, I... I point things out to her on the news and they you know go through it at school but uh it's a reality and of course they're not you know thinking about it all the time i am yeah you know if i'm in a, you know a, a populated area you know i'm always thinking like you know what if i start hearing shots what am i going to do where's my daughter you know where's my wife if yeah, she's with you. me you know i hear you God help the person who's going to challenge you, though. It's going to be a long day. All right. Um, gentlemen, thank you very, very much. Again, Andrew Pollock behind this, the idea that we've got to do something and we've got to think differently.